Good day everyone. And for this video, ang pag-uusapan natin is on how to solve complicated algebraic expressions or equations in the board exam. Now, why do I specify na in the board exam? Kasi sa board exam, merong choices. So, ganito kasi yan. Dapat kasi yung mindset natin sa board exam is we don't just treat these choices as choices lang. But instead, we should treat these choices as additional given. In other words, back-solve method yung gagawin natin. So as for example number one, ang concept or principle na gagamitin natin dito is will be coming from the word simplify. Now, bakit? Now, if we define the word simplify, it only means to make things easier to understand. Let me give you a scenario. That says, si Sass TV ay ang anak ng kapatid ng nanay mo. Now, if we simplify this statement, it only means na si Sass TV ay pinsan mo. So, that is the essence of simplifying. Even though iba yung mga words and iba yung pagkakasabi niya, but still, it gives the same meaning or idea. Now, if we relate that into a mathematical way, let's say we have x times x. And if we simplify this one, of course, x squared. Now, if we assign a value of x, let's say ang x natin is equal to 2, then itong x times x natin will become 2 times 2. And that gives us a value of 4. And itong x squared naman natin magiging 2 squared. And it still gives a value of 4. Na even though iba yung itsura ng dalawang to, but it still gives the same value. Using this concept, sagutan na natin yung example natin. As for our first step, tingin muna tayo dito sa ating expression. Na ang gagawin natin is we will be assigning a value sa mga variables na involved. In which in this case, ang variable lang na involved is only x. No? x, x. Lagi na lang si x. And as for what value na gagamitin natin for x is we have the freedom to choose what we want. Pwedeng 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hanggang 1,000 pwede. But as long as yung pipiliin natin na value of x will not produce a zero denominator. Kasi if mag-zero yung denominator natin, magiging undefined yung solution. So, for this problem, ang gagamitin ko na value of x is 2.5. And yes, pwede kahit may decimal. Okay lang. Just to make sure na hindi magiging zero yung denominator. Now, if we substitute the value of x sa ating expression, that would give us a value of 8 over 11. Now, the next move here is dito talaga natin magagamit yung concept na ito in which hahanapin natin yung simplified form ng expression na ito among these choices. And yung simplified form will give the same value as this one. So, hanapin natin yung expression that will give a value of 8 over 11. Klaro ba? So, as for option A, substitute lang natin yung value of x which is 2.5. So, 2 over 2.5 minus 3 and that gives us a value of negative 4. Hindi ito yung inahanap natin. So move on tayo sa option B. 2.5 minus 3 over 5. And that gives us a value of negative 1 over 10. So hindi ulit nagmatch. Move on tayo sa option C natin. So 4 over 2.5 plus 3. Now, this gives us the value of 8 over 11. As you can see, parehong pareho sa value na, na produce ng ating expression. Therefore, ang simplified form ng expression ito is letter C, 4 over x plus 3. And that is our answer. So, disclaimer lang muna bago tayo mag-move on sa next example. In this video, hindi ko sinasabing mag-rely tayo in these types of solution. But instead, I'm just giving an alternative solution para in case maka-encounter ka these types of problem, 
then you have the choice kung anong solution or method yung gagamitin mo. It's either the conventional one or this box solve method. So, mas maganda yung meron tayong plan B. So, as for problem number 2, basahin ko lang. The quotient of x to the 5 plus 32 by x plus 2 is blank. Ang ibig sabihin ng problem na ito, if i-divide daw natin yung ating term na x to the 5 plus 32 by x plus 2, magiging equal siya sa isang value which is nandito sa ating mga choices. So, ang first move pa rin natin dito is we will be assigning a value of x. And it's up to you kung anong gusto mo. And for this case, ang gagamitin ko is 10 para may iba naman. Now, if we substitute the value of x, which is 10, sa ating equation, and that gives us 8,336. So, set aside muna natin yung value na to. Kasi ito yung hahanapin natin na value if we substitute the value of 10 sa ating mga choices. Okay? So, First, option A. Check muna natin si option A. Now, if we substitute the value of 10 sa x natin, then magiging 9,008. So, as for option A, hindi tayo nagmatch. Na move on tayo sa option B. So, the same process. Substitute natin yung value ni 10 sa x. So that gives us the value of 8,336 and by that, nagmatch siya sa ating hinahanap which is this one. Therefore, if we divide x to the 5 plus 32 by x plus 2, the answer is this equation. Now question, do we need to check option C and option D? Well, the answer is pwedeng o, pwede rin hindi. But in the case, if nasa actual board exam ka, Dapat medyo praninga. You have to check every choice. Kasi sayang yung one point, ba? As for our problem number three, kung makikita nyo meron na tayong y na variable. Now, ano na bang gagawin natin dito? Well, same process pa rin. But ang kaibahan lang is instead na yung x lang yung bibigyan natin ng value, we will be giving values to x and y. As for the value of x, feel free to choose whatever you want. And para sa akin, this problem, ang gagamitin ko na value of x is 3. And for the value of y naman is, ano bang maganda? 7. And if we substitute these values to this expression, then ganito yung mangyayari. Substitute the value of x na 3 and the value of y na 7. That gives us a value of negative 1. So, the same pa rin yung next move natin dito in which we will be finding among these expressions sino yung magbibigay ng the same value as this one, which is negative 1. Okay? So, set aside lang natin the value of negative, negative 1 dito. So, let's try option A. The same process, we will be substituting the value of x and y to our choices. So, option A produces a value of 1. So, it doesn't match kasi yung hinahanap natin is negative 1. So, as for option B naman, so, option B produces a value of 169. So, medyo malayo. So, proceed tayo sa option C. And option C produces a value of 1, which is hindi pa rin yung hinahanap natin. So, let's try option D. And finally, option D, produces a value of negative 1 which matches our value na hinahanap natin. So, letter D is our answer. And then again, if umabot ka man sa part ng video na to, then thank you so much for watching my video. And for more videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe na rin sa aking channel and para updated ka sa mga upcoming videos ko, then click na rin yung notification bell button. So once again, thank you. Peace!